The most natural way to make vitamin D is to expose our skin to the sun, particularly around midday when the intensity of the sun's rays will be at their maximum, and particularly in the summertime. You know, I don't think there's any official statement about that, but I guess there's two answers. If, you te- if your skin tans and you can see it getting darker over the period of days you're in the sun, then you've made vitamin D. Um, the other one is that if you're out in full sunshine of the day and your shadow is shorter than your height, then that's a good indication that the UV index is three or higher and you're starting to make more vitamin D. The shorter your shadow is, the greater the amount of ultraviolet light there is in in, in hitting your skin. So that's how. Um, Sunbeds, of course, can be used to make vitamin D. It's been one of the ways that we've measured the amount of vitamin D that skin has the capacity to make. So what we claim about sunshine and how much it makes is actually suntan parlor results. So of course they do it. Australia is now promoting a, a D break in winter, and I think it's a great idea. To me, it's a breath of fresh air, and I, I wouldn't do it just in the winter. I think they should do it, you know, every time but in the summer, perhaps. But from my perspective, I think we should take advantage of Mother Nature and the fact that she's given us a gift, which is to be able to make vitamin D in your skin, again, using sensible sun exposure. And I, what I do, and I tell my patients, is what I personally do is I get some sensible sun exposure. So the question, of course, is can you use a sunbed to make vitamin D? And so tanners actually have robust levels of 25 hydroxy vitamin D, a measure of your vitamin D status. So then the obvious question is, does sunlight provide you with any other benefits? And it turns out that the answer is yes. We also know that nitric oxide is produced in the skin during sun exposure. This probably explains why people feel more relaxed because nitric oxide is a major regulator of blood pressure and will decrease blood pressure. And there's probably a lot of other uh, biological processes that are going on in your skin when you're exposed to sunlight that yet need to be really investigated. One of them potentially is that not only when you're exposed to sunlight do you make vitamin D in your skin, but you make at least about five to six additional vitamin D-like photoproducts. And we think that they have unique properties in the skin that may actually help reduce risk of skin cancer and may have improvement in overall skin health.